MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's Angels Baseball, and it starts right now. Felix Pena, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for the Yankees, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Here comes the first pitch. Underway oh. now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they do come in fresh off a of victory last time out, but they've been giving ground first in the pitch. division of late. They've won just twice in their last seven games. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage yep. this one, D-Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip, so big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. Again, a 1 2. Ball. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing Not on that exactly. pitch. And he just didn't the get the back through the zone in time. Okay. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way. But it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. Popped up. Rendon is there for it. Two down. Batting third, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as we take a look at the splits between April and May. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but, boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Oh, look at Rendon to first in time. They call it the hot corner for a reason, and this is a beauty to take us to break. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, 
ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good and fortune up, in this one here today. Settling in now, Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Simmons. of the first. Here's the pitch. No. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. A bouncer to the left side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Batting second. The second baseman. David Fletcher. So striding in, David Fletcher. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number Batting two third. hitter came through the right there with baseman. the single. Setting the table for the big boys. Rendon. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. Two gone. Batting four. The center fielder. Mike. So we're wow. at first here with two gone in the inning. And that brings up Mike Trout. From the stretch. Ball. 1 0. The 1 0. Ball. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. Uh -huh. Over the outside half, and it's 2 and 1. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up, but you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. From the stretch. 3-1. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And another foul ball. Three. 
And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him Batting for a bit. Hit. He just That's missed, and hitter. now the inning continues Tommy. with the man in scoring position. Lestella. Here's Tommy Lestella now, and he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. First offering on its way. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Lestella, a native of New Jersey, the Garden State as it's known. He was an eighth round selection back in 2011. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Fletcher over at second. Trout on at first with two down. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Here's the two one. Three ball, one strike. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Ready with the 3 1. And he misses outside. again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Some guys take that a little time to find the zone, no but with the second there. walk of the first Stop inning, it there. might be a little more than just settling Stop in here. There. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Here's Justin Upton now. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. First pitch on its way to Upton. Ball. Ball. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Here's the 2 0. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Boom goes the dynamite. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. Number 13 for him on the year as the Angels have now opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Well, it seems like only a couple of minutes ago that we were ready for a hard-fought game. But things have taken a dramatic turn here early. They jumped all over this guy, including that grand slam. And they might not be done yet. Batting seven. Next batter to the, the plate, right Brian Goodwin. Brian. As the first Goodwin. pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. The windup and the 0 1. A ball and a strike. We're playing 11. 1 1. And he pumps the fastball Wait, by him here. One and two now. Four runs here in this half inning. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with his slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the damage long since done for the Halos as they get four on the Grand Slam. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 4 nothing Angels. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. 
Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some one runs. Ball. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. This year against right handed pitching, Sanchez is exactly a 260 hitter. The 1 1 is a slider that misses below the zone. For the current campaign, Sanchez begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525, certainly a line he can take pride in. 2 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough that pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no Don't answer Carlo. for it. Dante. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 15 long balls and 36 RBIs. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Stanton on his way up to second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Man, it looked like the that pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing in a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. Digging in, Mike Talkman. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. One out and a runner on second base. This is swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. Rendon able to put it away, and that's out number two. Batting seven, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Now at the plate, Gio Urshela, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Here comes the first pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Upton on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Yankees. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Here's Albert now. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. The first baseman, Albert. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Pujols, who's long been referred to as the machine, he's currently in the first year of a new two year contract. The 1 0. Fouled off. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 
is put in play to the right side of the infield. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Batting ninth, the catcher, Jason Castro. And now for the Angels, Jason Castro. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup. Curveball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. Well, Matt, as we take a look no at his line here, two. he might not Good know stop. all the specifics, Central but third. he knows he hasn't been pitching Good all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. He's got it. LeMay here for one. On to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Stepping in, Luke Voigt. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. This is line to left. Upton is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. And before we get much further, time for a look at the standings entering play today as you see where the Angels find themselves in the American League West. Stepping in, Tyler Wade, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Inside. The 1-0 is taken strike one. One out, nobody on. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Two out, nobody on. And it's quickly 0-2. And, Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Upton's under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing.
Welcome back. The Angels are set to hit here in the third inning, and hit is something that they've done very well this season. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course, plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. And leading up, okay, thank you, Heidi. The second baseman, David Fletcher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that misses ball one. 1 0. One and one. We're playing 11. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there. And that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Outside. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. So one gone now as you get a look there at where the Yankees the stand pick. currently Number in six. the American League East. Anthony. Red go. So there's the first out here in the Angels third and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. And now pitch on the way. Hit in the air down the right field line. Judge is on his horse. But this will land untouched. Bases are empty. One man out. Line toward the alley in left center. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. The center fielder, number 27, Mike Brown. So bases are empty here with two gone and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. First pitch on its way. Ah. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Counts even to Trout, one and one. Trout, 28 years old, is hoping for a trip to this year's All-Star game, and he very well may have it. Coming into the day, he's second in fan votes among American League center fielders. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Angels are gone in order, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Second baseman D.J. LeMahieu comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Smoke toward third. Rendon is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The right fielder. Good time now to check out the Angels' road to the show report. As you see, a couple of guys in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves of late. Here's Big Aaron Judge. 
hit the other way out toward right field. Giving Chase his good one. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Just a great approach at the plate right there. Takes that pitch on the outer half and goes with it. He clearly hit it well because it bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 and 0 delivery. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. One and two to the Yankees catcher. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last hitter. minute. They're so Don't tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Giancarlo Stanton now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. From the stretch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation. Or that changeup's going to beat me. Ready on 0 and 2. Ball, no. One ball, two strikes. a line drive base hit to left field long throw to the plate oh but it's offline so the run will score boy talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout deal big Let's big see. and I mean big two on RBI single Talk. yeah way to come through for your team when you take the donut off your bat right there you're trying to pick up your teammate he had the right game plan didn't come outside it stayed through the baseball and was able to come through So now to the plate, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Playing 11. One ball, one strike. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. To two balls and two strikes now. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. A run on two hits for the Yankees. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Angels lead it 
four to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Standing in, Tommy LaStella. He worked the walk and came around Angel. to score in his first trip the in this game. Hitter. Tommy LaStella. Here's the pitch. Ball. And a fastball to start things Whoa. out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. And they've had some good at bats against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard field. hit after Number hard eight. hit. As we take a look at his Jump line here, there. the numbers do not lie. This has not Jump been there. one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Justin Upton the next to hit as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Grounded back up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to first and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. The right Good pitch on the ground ball there. And an even better job up the middle to take it himself in turn two. Pretty smooth. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Brian Goodwin. First delivery to him on the way. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Angels four and the Yankees one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The third baseman. All set for the Gio start of the inning. Next Urshella. for New York, Gio Urshela. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Pitch on the way. There's a line drive to the left side, and Simmons won't have a shot. It's over his head for a base hit. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Set. Here's the 0-1. No, Fastball just misses. That's ball one. 11, one, one. Checks his swing oh. here, but he does so in time. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Hit on the ground out to short. Simmons is there. There's That's one. That to Pujols and they get them both.
Now back. Just a two hopper to short. Can't ask Tyler. for anything Please. easier than that. And they roll up your basic 6 4 3 double play. Digging in, Tyler Wade. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. No. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Oh, Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. The 2 0 on the way is uh -huh. in there for strike one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Hits are now even at four apiece. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. Still even at two and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The two two one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Popped him up. Who holds? He's got it, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Digging in now, Albert Pujols. He'll get his and side started in the inning, Pujols. and Dan, so far, the they've been baseman. stifled offensively Albert. since the first inning. Boy, they sure Pujols. have that. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Now here it comes. Ball Too one. Low. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. A ball and a strike. 1 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And a sliding attempt at second, but he can't corral it, and that ought to be a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove now on it. it. Hard Get single through. up the middle. Yeah, get watch this. your lips right there, Dan. Get Sent it throw. back right where it came from. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. It's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. High in the air into shallow left center. Here comes Gardner. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. The batter, number two, shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Digging in once again, Andrelton Simmons. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing no. pitch. 
boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Four runs, five hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Fastball just a bit low here. He's behind 2-0 now. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Three and oh. Three ball, no strike. From the belt, the pitch. Yep. Weakly hit towards first. Fielded cleanly. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And he is in there. So definite problems now on that back. last play. Second and they'll hit the first play. baseman for the Get error. Fletcher. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. You're Jonathan Holder lead. takes the mound to try now to get out of this mess. Four. There are two Number on 56. with only one away. Jonathan Holder. So stepping in, David Fletcher, lifetime versus this pitcher. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Here comes the first pitch. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats and left. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he lays ball. off for ball one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1-1 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The third baseman, number six, Anthony. Red Rendon. Two men on, two out, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. First pitch on its way. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Two men are on with two men out. And that misses one and one. One ball, one strike. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard to short. Gets dirty and gloves it. Hats off to that one. Angels strand a couple as they hold on to a four to one lead.
Here's Brett Gardner now. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered Brett. one hit to the top Gardner. three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. The 1 0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Two ball, no strike. <laughs> Two and one after the foul ball there. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. A little late on the fastball but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance. The next three two. Again he sends it out of play. Once again a three two. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Yeah, and if you can make it all the way to the sixth okay. inning before you give up a walk, you're doing something right. He's been very efficient so far, so we'll see if he can get back on track here. So striding forward now, D.J. LeMayhew, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Whoa. One and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now the two-one pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The 2-2 two -two is looked at and the count moves full. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Nobody out runner on first. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. On his Joe. way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Ladies Justin Anderson takes over on the mound here with nobody now out in the sixth inning. Angels. Number 38, Justin Anderson. Aaron Judge will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1.
from the belt, the pitch, and it's one and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The 2-1 home. 3-1. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. First and second here with nobody out. Okay. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The runner scores from second. Now batting. Catcher. Gary Sanchez. To the plate now. Gary Sanchez. No. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball no. one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ball and a strike. Hits are even right now at five aside. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Belted high in the air out to left. Upton going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The relay throw, and a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the fly out. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton, and their runners at the corners now. First offering on its way. Ball. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Now the 1 0. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. 2 0 pitch on the way. And this is a called strike at the letters. Look like ball three, but make it two and one instead. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. The 3 2 pitch. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the, the result. Bat. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Ryan Buchter comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. 
Mike Talkman will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball, and obviously ball. looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. Buchter has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. On, he swings right through it there. 2-1. and one. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. To a 2-2 two two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Bases are loaded with only one out. Now that's popped up. Simmons has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Now that the third baseman, Gio Urshela. So striding in, Gio Urshela, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One and one, the pitch. Hit high and deep out to left field. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And he'll get in there safely. Yeah, with the bases loaded, he didn't walk a run now in. That, so instead, he makes the, the cardinal pitch. mistake of putting it right in the heart of the plate. And when you do that, you're going to pay the price. And that's exactly what happens with a two-RBI double. Here's they're going to give him the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. That's what's called getting now the treatment. Him. Everyone knows he's down. a power threat with a bat, Tyler. so it's all about Wait. not letting him be the guy that beats you. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, he's got to make an adjustment. You could tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands. He's got a lot of frustration. He's gripping the bat too tight. He needs to relax, take a deep breath, and have a productive A-B right here. Ready with the 1-0. This is line to left. Upton is there now as he makes the catch, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they do get three that inning. That's the good news. The bad news is they leave three men on base. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the and dish. He struck out swinging in his last trip the to the plate. Field. Ready Mark. with the first pitch. Here it comes. Wow. Ah. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. 
The one two. Misses ball two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, gotta feel like it's a win for the offense. Skied into straightaway right. Heading after it is Judge. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting the designated hitter, Tommy LaStella. Next will be the designated hitter, Tommy LaStella. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at bat. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. A ball and two strikes now. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1-2. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. After it is Gardner. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, the left fielder, Justin Upton. Into the box, Justin Upton. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least, so you know he wants to make up for it right here. Good off-speed no pitch had him out in front for strike one. Upton in a hole, 0 and 2 the count to him. 4-4 is our score as we play the sixth. And Upton no. won't chase that one. It's 1 and 2. 12, 1, 2. Ball 2. No. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Got to be frustrating for the guy out on the mound trying to get out of this inning. Had him down 0-2, and now he's worked the count back full. Still one pitch away from sitting in the dugout. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A.B. Down 0-2, and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Now to the plate, Brian Goodwin. No hits to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Fouled away. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Angels strand one. Six innings are in the books, all square, four to four. Cam Bedrosian is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 32, Cam Bedrosian. Ready once again, Brett Gardner. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Number 11, Brett Gardner. He's set and the pitch. Ball. Ball. Two 
Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batter, second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring in DJ LeMahieu. First offering on its way. Ball. Slider ball. laid off for a ball. Two, ball. Two tough sliders no right there, but he was able to lay off him. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Hard hit ball to second, reined in, and a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judd. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Upton's after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the Ladies inning. Gentlemen, One, two, three, go the Bombers. The Still all square at four apiece. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Ready now for L.A., Albert Pujols. And leading up for the Angels, the first baseman, Albert Pujols. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Outside for a ball, one and one. You're playing 11, one, one. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. Kainley is known in part as a reliever with a, a clutch factor, perhaps. An escape artist is another way to put it. Regardless, he seems to be at his best when pressed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. No doubt about it, Matty V. And I call a guy like this troubleshooters. Guys that you can bring into a game with runners in scoring position. They don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more importantly, they make good pitches to good hitters to get out of tough situations. The batter, the catcher, Jason Castro. So one away, and here's the left-handed hitting catcher, Jason Castro. He's set. Here it comes. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball. 1-0. Softly hit toward the hole. On to first, and there were two down. The batter, the shortstop, Andrew Fed. Zimmer. Ready now, Andrelton Simmons. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. And he lays off there, 1-0. Now a swing here on the fastball as this is squirted up the first baseline. And that'll make him one for four in this one. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter the finding a way, 22. even though that Second was a soft base. liner, finding Take a way it. to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball play. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 
0-1 delivery. Hit back up the middle. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Angels leave one. This game's all tied at four. Ready to begin the eighth. Striding forward now, the Yankee the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And the pitch. So he misses with a fastball. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Tie ball game, 4-4 four, four the score as we give you a look there at the starter comparison to see how the numbers match up for the two starting pitchers. Stepping up now, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. Now here it comes to short and that's through for a hit boy not a bad way to end the month he gets his third hit now of this game and I'm not so sure it. Mark he's going to look forward to the calendar Martin. flipping to the next month yeah I'll tell you what Dan you get three knocks the last day of the month you're feeling frisky heading into the next 30 days at the plate now Mike Talkman. As he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The 2-1. Ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and one pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting the over bat. match at the plate the, the last plate. couple of games. That's his Yo. fifth strikeout in this Virginia. series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments.
That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Come set, the 0 1. High in the air out towards shallow right. Waiting on it is Goodwin. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. Score remains tied at four. You're ben Heller please. is on to pitch out of the now bullpen in the bottom the half of the eighth. Number 61, Ben Heller. Bottom of the inning now. Into the box and now. Anthony Jordan Rendon Angel. not providing the much out baseman. of the three hole in this Anthony. one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Just oh, off no. the outside, and it's 1 0. Oh. Two balls and no Outside. strikes to Anthony Rendon. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Three oh, and 0 oh now. Lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on three and oh, though. You have to earn that spot. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. No. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. The 2-1 home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. The tag, and they got him at third. It's a double play. Now battle. The deputy Digging in to try it again. Tommy, Tommy LaStella. It was a La fly out Stella. for him in his last trip. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Fouled off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. From the windup, the 1 1. Back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball scene. The left field, Bottom line eight. is this guy has bat to bat skills. Seven. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. In now, Justin Upton. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 0 1 offering. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Oh. 
Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. The 0 2. And a fastball swung on and missed and his side is retired. Angels strand one. Still all square at four apiece. Angel Robles please. will be on the mound to start the ninth inning three. and his job will be keeping the ball game Number tied until the bottom half. Hunto. Robles. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt will be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. Boy. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And now pitch on the way. No contact there, and it's one and two. Robles playing here in his age 29 season. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Pulls this one in the air out to left. After it is Upton. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Now batting. Flipped up. Tyler Wade. Miguel Andujar will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Miguel and Duhar. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. 276, the average coming in for him. Seven homers and 25 driven in. Hit hard down the line, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box now, Brett Gardner. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Into his windup, the 1-0. No. Two out, nobody on. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it two and one instead. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knot. It is, d and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. One, two. The one, two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two.
Here's the two and two. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Hey, after back-to-back -back oh, two-out hits bank. right now, this the pitcher thought he was going to cruise Aaron. through this inning, and now he's go. got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate. A crooked number going on the board. Standing in, Aaron Judge. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch. Wait. Two men are on with two men out. And he misses with it one and one. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Drilled on the ground is short. Simmons has it. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. Now well, we've been treated to a neck-and-neck neck game so far, and the last thing anybody wants is for a misplayed ball to be the difference. But that's where we're at right now as the error leads to the go-ahead run. Your Ramirez please. takes over now with two now gone here in the top of inning number nine. Number 24. No way. Rob Heron. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Ball. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. The set and the 1-0. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it two and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. The two one pitch. Big rip at the curveball, but he comes up empty and it's even at two and two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. The set and the 2-2. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Runners at second and third with two gone. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Count remains full. He's set. The 3 2. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. 
These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Digging in and looking for more, Giancarlo Stanton. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet, so this could be a fun at-bat to watch. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The 0 1 offering. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch them all on the grand slam. Home run number 16 for him on the year as this is now a five-run cushion. You've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded, with a power hit at the plate. The best thing he could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making hard contact. Well, so much for that. He obviously made a mistake, and the big slugger made him pay. Now batting, the left fielder, Mike Cockman. At the plate, Mike Talkman, as he'll take one up in the zone, but no indeed ball. in the That's strike right. zone for the first strike. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. So they put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate, and this was the biggie here, the grand slam home run. Last chance coming up here for the Angels. It's the Yankees nine and the Angels four. Your Zach Britton please. will come on now in relief here and Yankees. appear in game number 25 number 50, on the please. year so far. Zach Britton. Torres is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. Labor Torres. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian Goodwin. He'll start things and out against off. Britain as Angels. he looks to close it out. The right fielder, Brian Goodwin. Here's the first pitch to him. And no, that's the ball, ball. one and zero. Oh. Ball oh. two. Big sweeping breaking Zero. ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2 0. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Tuckman is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Up next for the Angels, the first baseman, Albert. Pujols. At the plate, Albert Pujols. It was a flyout for him in his last trip.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a now very back. effective pitch the for him. Catcher. But here's the flip side Get of that there. coin. He starts this Catch one too throw. far inside and plunks the hitter. Striding into the box, Jason Castro. He was a ground out victim last time up. First delivery to him on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, and one, here it comes. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0 and 2 now. Runner at first here, one man out. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The 0-2 home. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Runners on first with one down. And it's fouled away. Another try at 2-2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing That's to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. In now is Andrelton Simmons, and he fouls this one off. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. one pitch swing and a miss oh, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker there is just no way to do any damage you're just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side out. throw on to first and the Yankees have taken the rubber match of this three game set as this ball game is over good job there to slam the door for the win and they finish the month with the bang just the way you want to. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. New York came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Ben Heller gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.